Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the use of curves with Limat drives. Curves allow for the implementation of complex motion profiles without the need for an additional controller. I'm currently logged into a C1250 in Linmot Talk 6.8, but the steps will be similar for other drive types and Linmot Talk versions. I'm going to begin by navigating to Curves in Linmot Talk's tree and creating a new curve with the new curve button. I'm going to be creating a position versus time curve. Each curve must have a unique ID number and you have the option of naming it as well. Lima Talk offers various options for set point calculation. The recommended option is sine, which sinusoidally ramps acceleration and is the most efficient set point calculation method. Other commonly used forms include VA interpolator, which is similar to a trapezoidal move, and minimal jerk, which is similar to an S-curve. I can specify the curve length, start point, and end point. Limotalk will calculate parameters needed for motion based on the set point calculation wizard. I'm going to accept the proposed number of set points. I can double click on my curve to view the profile. I can see that it is extending from 0 to 150 as I would like. By right-clicking on the curve, I can see the values, which I can export or import. I can also edit the curve's properties. I'm going to change the curve's endpoint to 100 millimeters. Now that I've created my extend move, I'd like to create a retract move. I'm going to be sure to assign it a new ID number and then I can specify its motion parameters. Now I can see that I've got my extend move from 0 to 100 and my retract move from 100 back to 0. I can use these curves independently, but I can also combine them if I'd like. To do this, I'll select both of them and click the Join Curves button. I'll make sure to assign it a new curve ID and a name. This curve now contains both the extend and retract within one curve. Note that I cannot edit the set point calculation properties of this curve after it has been combined. Once I'm satisfied with the curves in the edit window, I can download them to the drive. To do this, I'll select them, add them to the download window, note that they are not yet stored on the drive as noted by this blue symbol here, and then click download into drive, which will stop the firmware in order to download the curves into the drive. This green symbol denotes that the curves are now stored on the drive. While the firmware is stopped, I'm going to make some other changes so that I can run these curves. To begin, I'm going to change the drive's run mode. I'm going to talk about two run modes today, the first of which is triggered time curves, which allows us to use the drive's I.O. to trigger these curves. The curves that will be ran are determined here. I'm going to run curve 1, which is our extend on the trigger's rise, and curve 2, which is our retract on the trigger's fall. Next, I need to define the trigger in the drive's I.O. On C-series drives, X4.6 is the drive's trigger input. I also need to configure the trigger. I'm going to set it as direct, but there are also options for inhibited, which acts as a debounce and delayed. The settings for those modes can be found here. Now that I've set up the curves, the run mode, and the trigger, I'm ready to restart the firmware. Once the motor switches on and homes, I can simulate the I.O. using this I.O. panel. I'm going to enable manual override and activate X4.6. You can see that the motor extends on the trigger's rise and retracts on its fall. 
If I want to run the combined curve, all I need to do is change the curve ID in the drive's parameters. I'm going to set the fall curve ID to zero as I won't need to run a curve on the trigger's fall and set the rise curve ID to three to run the combined curve. Now when the drive sees a rising edge on X4.6, the motor extends and retracts as defined in curve ID three. Next, I'll set up the drive to run this combined curve continuously. I can do so by changing the drive's run mode to continuous curve and specifying the curve ID here. Since my drive is in the operation enabled state, it begins to run this curve immediately. Note that the curve's offset, amplitude, and time scale can be also be adjusted here. The curve will continue to run with the prescribed settings until the system is switched off. Thanks for watching.